Welcome back. Oh my god, my knees. Welcome back. It's the next part of the show. Um, you did one F. I'm like transformation. I'm, 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 I'm transformed like something else. Well, you, you, you remember the last part? I was wearing another suit. And now I'm wearing another one. How cool I am I am tonight. Fashion. Oh. And uh wow well, wow well, what a lesson have been. We uh have passed the part one and now we uh do the part Oh uh also tonight I remember that we did the plans to revenge the person that I hate most. <coughs> Little too, too much, yeah, too much of excitement. Anyway, folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, also, have you watched the World Cup? It is another match. I have updated the the the, the, the research. Have you watched the Portugal and the Spain? The that match. Wow, Ronaldo was great. He's still great, greater as ever. Well, you have, you must have watched, right? Yeah, hey. Alright, so uh, we're gonna talk about that later on, um, maybe like tomorrow. Lesson, it is Wednesday. I'm gonna, about, I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow. But tonight, uh, we still have to finish the lesson. So, back to work! Alright, so, uh, 1F, 1F right now, folks. We have finished the exercise number 1 and number 2 before, and now let's move it, move on to the exercise number 4. And 4 and 5, we will do it, uh, these parts. Number 4, listen again. Oh, listen again, what do we listen? Okay, so... Listen, which six of the following phrases does Monica use? One from group A, two from group B, and three from group C. Alright. So, uh... So they have given the, uh... Uh, key for us. So, uh... We're gonna listen to the most beautiful voice that you have ever heard before that's no other than me all right let's read it monica i will pretend that i'm monica still think that i'm monica remember one from group a two from group b and three from group c all right from the box a establish the topic Speculating and deducing. I'm gonna let you read those sentences first. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, read to you what Monica said during the examination, the oral exam. All right. So, are you ready? I'm gonna be Monica. Monica for you. Monica. There are two photos showing students, secondary students. I would guess that they are around 18 years old. The photos show different aspects of the topic of exams. In the first photo. The students are in the middle of sitting exam, sitting an exam. From their expression, I would say that the exam is not particularly easy. They certainly seem quite stressed, or perhaps they're just concentrating. It is hard to say whether it's a national exam or an internal exam, uh, internal school exam. But the fact that they all look so serious would suggest that it is 
an important exam. So probably it is a national exam, like A levels. The second photo shows the two girls who have just received their exam results. I assume it is clear from the expression that they have passed the with the flying colors. If these are A level results, then good grades will mean that they can go to a good university. So they have reason to celebrate. All right. So what? That's what Monica said. Thank you, Monica. No problem. All right. So that's what Monica thanks. And have you chosen the answer yet? You must have. So let's get to it. Dig down a hole to find out the answer. All right. So first one. What did you choose as the bridge the topic? These the photos are connected with the topic of, or are to do with, or are linked by, or uh, uh, relate to, or show different aspects of. It is the answer. Show di so show different aspects of. Yes. Uh, the photos show different aspects. Of the topic of exams. All right. So uh, the first one will be uh, one, two, three. So six, six. You sucker. All right. So first one will have uh, show. Different aspects of. Okay, so that's the first one uh, of the box uh, A. So now let's go to the box B. Speculating. Speculating. Um, it could be that or. It, uh, it is hard to say whether or presumably or I would guess that. Let's find out. Uh, the answer will be, it is hard to say whether or, alright, because it's said in the listening part. It is hard to say whether it's a national exam or an internal school exam. So that's one. Uh, it's hard to say to say whether uh, or and um, per, per uh, I would guess that. All right. I would guess that uh they are around 18 years old. All right. So that's the two from the group B. Let's go to the group C. Deducing from their expression, I would say that, judging by her expression, I would say that it's clear from their expression that they look look very happy. So clearly, they look as if they blah 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 as uh, though they blah blah blah. It looks like it looks as if blah 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 as though blah blah blah. The fact that blah 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 would suggest that. So we have from their expressions, I would say that. From their expressions, I would say that the exam is not particularly easy. All right. From their ex expressions, I would say that. And also, the two more answers will be reviewed after this break. We'll be right back with the part next part of the show. Lorraine, this will say tonight's episode of the show.